Good morning. I'm Will. I'm Renee. And together we are Phoenix Curations. We are resellers online. We sell mostly on the Poshmark app and a little bit on eBay. Uh, what are we going to do today, Renee? So we're going to talk about our sales today and a couple of other things. First, we're going to run our numbers just overall. Uh, we're going to talk about a little special project we have planned today that we're going to share with you later on. And uh, then we'll go through each and every sale on a screen capture, just so that you know what we sold. And at the end, if you stick around, yeah. you will learn what our little special project is for how we're gonna source today. And it's kind of unique. Yeah. Um, so we're super excited. Yes, we are. All right, so you wanna cover our sales there? So we, our sales for this past week have been, uh, our total sales, were six hundred ninety one dollars and eighty cents. That um, does that include Poshmark fees taken out of there? Yeah, no. The Poshmark fees and shipping discounts were removed from that mm -hmm. number. And our cost of goods was about one hundred thirty five dollars and fifty three cents, which leaves us with five hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty one cents in our pocket. That's right. And we sold fifty one items. Yes. which is pretty consistent for us. So we're looking at how to um, kind of amp up the next level and get our cost of goods back down. Yes. Well, Speaking of that, that yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on in the world has influenced what has been happening for us. Yeah. Um, we have not had as many opportunities to source. You know, Goodwill, the bins are closed. Um, we have seen a couple of thrift stores open in our area. Not a whole lot, so that has resulted in a little bit of higher cost of goods. And what else? What else has it done for us? So the worst thing that's happened for us is we can't get haircuts. So I don't know what to do with this. This is terrible. So that's about what I do with it on a regular. And um, you know, I don't know why Will's hair is not longer than it is because our hair is about the same in the back, and I got the worst end of it. Yeah. But overall. For what people are going through we're pretty lucky we feel pretty yeah. blessed we're mm -hmm. happy to still be doing business and we are looking to make this a full-time venture in the future yeah. comment like and subscribe if you want to uh, help our channel grow um all of that helps the algorithm if you don't like us or you have to leave and go make dinner then just let it play on mute in the background <laughs> the algorithm right. is happy when it just plays through so we do appreciate that so let's get to our sales this is a pair of William Rast ankle skinny jeans. Uh, these came from the bins. Um, they sold for $12. Uh, they were in pretty good shape. They are distressed from the factory. And let's see, what was our next sale? So this was an altered stays cardigan embroidered boho um, kind of vest, a little bit of a dolman sleeve there. And this came from the bins, sold for $15. Um, a Coach Soho pleated black signature bag. Now, this came in one of our, our um, thread-up boxes, didn't it? it? It did. That's correct. So, yeah. cost of goods is around $9 mm -hmm. when you take what we actually listed versus what we got. Yeah. This is a Crew 5 by Travel Pool Rolling Flight Bag. This came from the bins. Luggage is $0.50 cents each, I think, at the bins. Mm -hmm. um, they had a whole bunch of these kind of things and I had never sold one so I just got one just to see and it ended up being really good so I'm really bummed that I didn't get a cart full. Yeah I, <laughs> I don't know anything about this kind of luggage so great I don't travel that much. It was designed by pilots um, okay. for pilots so it's a great overnight bag. Okay. Uh, an Eddie Bauer purple fitted shirt this came from the bins uh, it was a, a, a pretty simple shirt it sold for $12. Eddie Bauer is um, we sell a little bit of it. It's not a huge seller, but yeah, I think it's kind of a LL Bean step down. Yeah, uh, think, I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's a step up. I think LL Bean uh, was sold to some venture capitalists or some sort of investment firm, and, and their quality went down for a number of years. But I think LL Bean has stayed where they were. It's just not as popular. Oh, Eddie Bauer. Yeah, Eddie Bauer. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think back in the day, that's what I'm thinking mm -hmm. about, is that L.L. Oh, Bean was mm -hmm. a little more exclusive. It mm -hmm. was catalog, you know. Yeah. You couldn't just buy it everywhere. So we're kind of racing through because we're super excited to share our um, our venture with you guys at the end of this. So this is a logo, Lori Goldstein lounge jacket, uh, zip up 2X, and I want to show you the back of it, which is really awesome. 
and it was hard to show how great this was but it was all lace and it had this beautiful rose gold hardware and that came from the bins and it sold for twenty dollars <laughs> leopard kitty mule slippers yay this was part of a four-piece bundle <laughs> okay um i don't know where did you get these <laughs> they came from the bins. They were just brand new. They're deer foam. I, yeah. you know, I just hate letting flip flops mm -hmm. and slippers go to the garbage can when they're brand new. So. Okay. So how many items are in this bundle? There are four items sold okay. for thirty-five dollars. Okay. So next was this Volcom uh, mini skirt. I believe this was vintage. It was pretty distressed. I got it for fifty cents at a local charity thrift store, and we got it for Depop. And we all talked about our Depop venture. We can't sell in Depop. Um, this is a handmade knit uh, little, pe is it a pillow throw? Well, it's just kind of a little oh, thing. I don't, I, I would imagine someone would throw it over the side of a baby crib or maybe in a rocking chair in a nursery. Um, this it, came from the bins? It did. And it was just nice quality. And I really just like the contrast. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to give it a try. And it finally sold. I almost pulled it, but I'm glad it did. So this is a Jan Sport High Stakes Backpack Mountain Scene, and um, these do pretty good. I, I looked them up. It took me a little bit to find this specific backpack name, but it came from the bin, so cost of goods was it's very, very light, 50 cents. Wasn't in perfect condition, but it was, it was pretty good. Uh, Style & Company High Rise Tommy, Tummy Control Straight Jeans. Uh, these were new with tags. Uh, these coming out of one of our boxes. They did. B and G plus size, yeah. so cost of goods is seven oh five on that. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo Classic cut long sleeve dress shirt, which we have a terribly difficult time selling because I I think they just don't photograph well, and there's a lot out there. Um, it looks yellowed in a way right here, but it, it isn't. It, it's just yeah. not. It was so. in perfect condition. Yeah, so you got that at the bins? At the bins, yes. Yeah, sold for $17. So this is a Lily Pulitzer Lover's Coral headband. Um, I think this probably sold to someone who collects Lily Pulitzer because it's a special print. And um, we got this free from a the friend. thrift store that we're going to talk about a little oh. later on in a mystery bag. So that was a free gift. We sold it for $10. Um, Outdoor Voices Athena Crop Top Medium. Um, I don't, where, this came from the bins? No, actually, no, this, this, is this was retail this arbitrage. I got it uh, at TJ Maxx for eight ninety nine. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of them. It sold almost immediately for $22. However, it's not tracking, so I'm a little concerned about that. We've had a lot of trouble with the post lately, yeah. tracking things. I think they're, they're just beat to death right now. God bless them. A pair of rose red earrings. These um, were part of a bundle, yeah. a five piece bundle, which we sold for uh, $68, I want to say. Yeah, $68. Yeah, these could have been vintage 80s. We weren't really sure. I'm pretty sure they were, but I don't know how to say that for certain. They were mm. a little higher quality. They were nice. They were 50 cents at a local charity thrift. A uh, hot hippie tribal. Bahati, Murray Gold Blouse. This was new um, without tags. This came from Goodwill. Yeah, so so it, it was probably uh, 449 yeah, something like 450. that. So then we have these Spanx mid thigh lower body shaper large black. We find a fair number of these. It was a size large. I think you got these mm -hmm. at the bins. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a couple of ounces. A lucky brand linen blend pheasant top. Uh, this came from the bins, I believe. And uh, so it was about a dollar, around a dollar. No, actually, this came from B and G. <clears throat> oh, that's right. It came from yeah. the box. Is it, yeah, is it a peasant top? I remember top. that. Yeah, it's a peasant top. My daughter said we should point out when we make mistakes. It's not a peasant top. But in any event, <laughs> last time I announced us as Phoenix Curations, and she told me that that you have to you have to out that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but in any event. It had a little dye transfer on it uh, from a B and G plus size box, so I did take the tags off and wash it to make sure it came out because I didn't want to sell it like that. And it sold in that bundle. So next is a Champion Gray Heathered Sports Bra size extra large that came from my closet. I don't know why I bought that because it is way too big for me. 
So, um, yeah, free. Uh, G Star Elwood tapered color jeans. This is what hair. What pattern is that? Herringbone. I think that it <clears> is I've dog's forgotten. tooth or herringbone. One, one yeah. of those. But those came from the bins, and really? those actually sell around eighty or ninety dollars. Yeah. But I couldn't get that for them. But they're that raw denim, that three D mm. stand up on their own. Yeah. So these. Um, yeah, they sat in the closet for a little bit, didn't they? They did, but okay. you know, current. Corona, Rona, the thing happened, and uh, I think that that changed what people were buying. So, I know we're not supposed to say that, so now I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's okay, we're not monetized. Uh, this is an Elijah J. Blush Tie Waist Faux Wrap Jumpsuit, and this came in our plus size box. Cost of goods was seven oh five, and this lady negotiated so hard with me. She had the same jumpsuit in a different size that she'd bought on clearance at Dillard's. And um, she just wanted a different size. And so finally, we just took a little bit less and mm -hmm. we, we moved it on their way. And you feel good about things like that. Yeah. So she's happy. She can sell hers and maybe she won't pay anything for it in the end. Yeah. BCBG, <clears throat> Max Zaria, uh, black bikini bottoms. These were new without tags, right? Or do they have tags? No, new without tags. Yeah. They just had the hygiene <laughs> liner still. And that came on trade from our... Yeah. Consignment partner that right. we're going to talk about later. Um, these are some Jack Skellington hats and a pair of socks. These all came from the bins. Uh, I lumped them together just because don't know what's going to happen to them, and they're out a little bit out of season. Um, you know, the hats wouldn't go for much by themselves, but, you know, it's a fun little package and went for $24. Yeah. In summer, you pointed out. Yes, in the middle of the summer. It's great. Yeah. Um... This went in a three-piece bundle that we sold for $36. This is a Lou and Gray crisscross tank top. It weighed almost nothing. I got it at the bins. I knew it would just be an add-on to somebody's uh, bundle because mm -hmm. alone it's not going to sell for much. Right. A pair of Miss Me jeans. These actually had a hole in the crotch. Uh, so I priced them a little bit low at $14. And they went. They went pretty fast. These were only in the closet for uh, three or four weeks. Yeah, so, so you can see the wear there. Yeah, and one side had already been repaired. I think it's called Sashido or Visible Mending. Yeah, uh, and she sent us a little note. She mm -hmm. said everything was perfect. Yeah, so, so maybe she's going to uh, repair them herself. Or turn them into a purse, or we're yeah. not sure. And the last thing in the, that bundle was a Harry Potter Dark Mark Snake tank top. And I'm pretty sure this came from Universal Studios because I saw it there many times in the little Harry Potter world. Yeah, it was an official Harry Potter Wizarding World shirt, and it came from the bins. That stuff is expensive. <laughs> when you go to Harry it Potter is, World, it's yeah. expensive. This is an LL Bean white long sleeve layering tee, and that came from the bins. Sold for $20. The lady sent a very nice note. Hmm. At INC Ink Red Lace Cold Shutter Boho Top, um, sold for eighteen dollars. This came from the bins. No nope, B and G. Oh B and G. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm new with tags. That. So seven oh five cost mm -hmm. of goods. These are some Levi's five oh one Justin Timberlake Fresh Leaves thirty five by thirty two, and these are kind of a rare edition Levi's. You got lowball multiple times on these, yeah. but I think you bought these for yourself and didn't. They I, didn't fit. I did. Well, I lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. So, so they were in pretty, pretty good, very, they were in very good condition. Um, I only wore them a couple of times. Yep. So uh, kind of free to us, but not. Yep. <laughs> this is a night green tennis dress racer back. And I bought this for myself at Plato's clearance and I just cleaned out my closet. So that really was free to us. I got my use out of it and I don't play tennis. So I wasn't playing tennis at it for sure. A uh, pair of medium wash shorts from Hollister. Um, you know, we pick these up at the bins. They don't cost much. Like the, the denim's really cheap, and um, the little shorts sell pretty good. But they don't always sell for a lot. Yeah, I think that a lot of junior stuff really mm -hmm. sold during this time because mm -hmm. people couldn't go to the store. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, why why not? We just decide to list things that we would normally take to consignment, and they sold. Yeah. This is part of a five-piece bundle that we sold for $60, and uh, this young lady and I went back and forth several times. There's one item in this bundle she really wanted, but it we paid up for it, and it was valuable. So 
we agreed on $60 very politely and uh, I, I think she loves her stuff. So this is a Vanilla Star denim shirt, ombre bleach, and you got this from the bins, right? Yes. Our plaid lace front, always indigo t-shirt, uh, a long sleeve button down shirt. Um, $8, this was part of that bundle. Yeah, it was, and this wasn't the highest quality shirt, but it yeah. is kind of a current style, that lace up front. Mm -hmm. So I just got it to sell very inexpensively, yeah. and um, and it did. These are G by Guest Dark Wash, Kellen Style, size 22, in that same bundle. So I believe, and I'm not certain, I believe that I bought these for Depop or when we just ventured into plus size. So I mm. want to say I paid for. 49 for them at the Goodwill, but I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. It wasn't more than that. Um, so I certainly overpaid for those. A uh, pair of dark wash Calvin Klein flare jeans. Um, thread up. Thread up. Yeah, okay. Coming out of a thread up box. The cost of goods was about $7 for these um, in the box. The denim, the box denim, was cheap. yeah, was they're like, like two dollars a piece, but then you can't list them all, so yeah. it, it was between two and four dollars for the ones we listed, and then we have okay. some to go to consignment. Uh, this is the valuable items. These are Spanx faux leather leggings, and the faux leather legging, uh, I can't talk. Faux leather leggings from Spanx do sell for quite a bit. They're ninety eight dollars new. Um, it doesn't matter the color, and I think that they can't, uh, oh yeah, I try not to put the stock photos up. So, um, yeah, we sold the whole bundle for $60, so I paid $10 for those at Plato's Closet when they first opened back up. Really? Okay. Um, blank NYC, the XX Mean Streak jeans, these are new with tags, these came from the, uh, these came from out of a Sandy's, box. Sandy's, Sandy's. Oh, from Sandy's. Yeah. Okay, that's a local uh, consignment shop. Yeah, so five ninety nine we paid for those. They did sit a little bit, but they're really cool. Mm -hmm. Even without a, a a model picture, they they I just thought they were cool. Yeah. This is an Athleta Active Dress Size Small. I believe I got this at Goodwill when I first <clears throat> heard about Athleta. Um, I heard that it really really sold well, and so we gave it a test. It doesn't really sell very well for us, and and it doesn't sell at a high cost. I think it's part of the Gap Old Navy mm -hmm. uh, conglomeration of yeah. of brands. So it sat for a while. It's a cute dress, and it finally sold for fifteen dollars, and we were happy to send it to someone who will love it. Yeah, this is a pair of vintage LL Bean uh, cal uh, corduroy pants. Um, these came from the bins and we had sold another pair of these that we'd picked up in the past so i tried it again and these sat these were in the closet for about six weeks yeah and yeah. so uh, we might try to pick these up in the future yeah i think that fellow like sent you the same low offer like five times in a row <laughs> yeah. and he finally came up a he little did. bit it's hard to price the vintage items sometimes so i, I just took it yeah so this is Style & Co. White Ella Pull-On Capri Pants, size extra large, and these came from um, B&G Plus Size Box, so mm -hmm. cost of goods is seven oh five. dollars uh, Pair of Ice Denim Dream Fit Blue Division Jeans, size 28. Those are interesting looking. Where'd you get those? I got those at the traditional Goodwill. I, sh I shopped all day long when they first opened back up. I'm trying to show you how cool they are. Um, when they first opened back up, and all of a sudden, I hit a good spot of jeans. Mm -hmm. And these jeans actually can sell for a lot more than that. Uh, but they had a little bit of a, uh, some marks on the bottom. And I didn't really want to invest a lot of effort in getting the stains out. So I just put, I just showed them. And we sold them for $45 really quick, mm -hmm. really quick. So I think that two-tone denim is really pretty hot right now. Yeah. So this is a Marona stripe three quarter stripe three quarter sleeve T size extra large, and it's new with tags. It's sold in a bundle with this also Marona extra large T new with tags, and those sold for sixteen dollars. And my mom gave those to me because really? they didn't fit her right mm -hmm. or something. So they were free to us. Sold for sixteen dollars. Nice pair of Keen Newport Blue uh, H two sandals. They're blue and gray. It's the color. They uh, these came from the bins. Um, I, I priced these a little bit low by mistake, thinking that they were another pair that had some damage to them. But 
Now they typically go from 40 to $15 and well, they sold. So we're happy to see them go. Hope they enjoy them. Yeah, I know that you want to move your shoes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I want to move everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want to move stuff and buy more stuff to sell. Yep. So these are some Lululemon bike shorts. They're a rare print, and I'd never seen this print, and I really couldn't find the print. And I also couldn't find the style. They're close to the Invigorate, but they're not the Invigorate. So I priced them at $36. I think I paid 20 for them at a consignment store. And I have paid up for Lululemon in the past and done all right with unique items. So this was a risk. They sold really quick at $36, so I probably underpriced them, but that's okay. We're here to learn, yeah. and we learn as we go. Calvin Klein black sheath career dress. Uh, these came from the bins. My closet. Oh, your closet. Okay. Yeah, that business wear that I'm never going to wear. Oh, yes. <laughs> So I am happy to see that stuff going and I just feel better every minute that it leaves my house and mm -hmm. uh, I loved wearing that stuff when I was wearing it and I'm really super happy to not have hose and heels on on a regular basis. <laughs> These are Alfani Tummy Control Pull on Capri Pants size 18W and the W stands for women's. I've heard people say wide but the, it really doesn't stand for wide okay. uh, having been a, a W person in my life it stands for women's and it's really just uh an indicator of a plus size item or extended size item okay. it's a little more generous cut i don't think i would confuse these with a men's item but um no but there's missies <laughs> so there's junior's clothes which are kind okay. of a little okay. don dow cut uh, yes. and then there's missies which is like women in their 20s and then there's women's which yes. are more for women who have had children and okay um, <laughs> okay and they're they're just a more generous cut. And these came out of the, the B and G plus size box. We got, they did. We have they a video did. on this um, a couple of videos ago. If you go to our playlist um, yeah. and want to see that B and G box, it's there. Yeah. So anyway, I, I don't think you ever made the W <laughs> mistake, but I, I hear people make it, and uh, I think probably extended size ladies would be offended by that. So that's why I'm sharing. I, I had no idea. Okay. Um, Nike running dry fit blank uh, black top tank top um my closet your closet okay i have so much athletic wear it needs to go i, I mean i still use a fair amount of it but i i can't ever use all the stuff i have so mm -hmm. and i want new stuff so you know things must leave so things can come home <laughs> these are some a uh, champion original suede fleece jogger size extra large and they really were super nice but the market for Champion is pretty saturated. And the mm. only unique thing about these, I believe they had a, like a, a, no, not this pair. But the patch is not the traditional red, white, and blue. It's just white. That's the only thing it had going for it. Uh, new with tags, they came from our men's return box. Mm. They sold for $18. And I think cost of goods was around $5 on those. Yeah, the, the return box was a B&G box. Yeah, it was a B&G box. Yeah. Um, we weren't excited about it, but we're making our money back. Yeah, that yeah. We also did a video on that too. If you want to check that out, but we were not excited about that at all. No, and the affiliate sampler box. I did work with customer service, and they took it back. Yeah. They usually don't take anything back unless you send your whole order back. But they took just that one part of the order back, and mm -hmm. they gave me money, not store credit. Okay. So um, I was super happy with them. So we may, we may order from them again. Mm -hmm. And our last sale of the week before we talk about our special project. Is this Vineyard Vines, uh, very just traditional basic navy polo shirt, sold for $13, came from the bins. Yes. So, you want to talk about our special project? Well, today we're going to go down, and we're going to make a video on this, so stay tuned. We're going to go down to one of our local um, um, resale stores, uh, where we trade in some of our clothes, and the name is Flashbacks Recycled Fashions. Yeah, they're here in Gainesville, Florida. So we reached out to them. They sold us a mystery box, and I talked to them about possibly doing an unboxing. And then I realized that, you know, they're in a situation where they need cash. They can't mm -hmm. really open with restrictions because they can only have a couple people in the store at a time. And so they need cash. And they also need inventory for their mystery boxes. Right. So we have some inventory for consignment, and we need inventory. 
So uh, I talked to them and they were very open and they're going to allow us to privately shop. They're going to buy stuff from us for store credit. We're going to buy stuff from them on cash. We'll work out our store credit later and we can help a local business. We're going to feel great about it and we're going to get some great stuff. And we're going to get some inventory. Yes. yes. Flashbacks is really a cool place. It's very quirky. Um, they sell a lot of um, like higher quality basics. Mm -hmm. They sell vintage. They sell kind of funky stuff. It's such a, a mix of the community. Um, they have college students and local people in the neighborhood that shop there. And it's just a really, really fun place. And they buy your clothes and they're nice about it. So um, we're yeah. super excited. So stay tuned for that video. It will be coming up soon. And if you're still here and you haven't liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We appreciate every bit of it. Let us know what we can do better. Let us know what you want to learn about. Uh, we're getting more comfortable. We're trying to upgrade every video. We're trying to do a little more. And uh, so we will see you in a later video. Have a great weekend.